All right, I would like to do a couple of very short videos just to show you two or three really quick and easy concepts. Um, the first one has to do with the span tag. I showed you the div tag in the last video, now it's going to be the span tag. So let's imagine in this document that I would like to call out some words. Let's say the word uh, egg is a vocabulary word. There it is again there. Uh, the caterpillar, there it is up there. So it's a vocabulary word. Every time we see uh, that word, it should be made special somehow. So uh, you know something about inline styles. Let's make some inline styles, the egg. First, I'll make it uh, red. I mean, not red, italics. <laughs> I'm going to make it red next. That's why I said that. Save and refresh. Um, so now you can see it's italics. I will add an inline style to that em tag. Remember, it's an inline style. So style equals, it goes in, it looks like an attribute because it's on an HTML tag. And style equals, I'll say, color red. So save and refresh. There we have it. I have a red italics word. Now, if I want to make many other tags, I mean words, that same style as the word egg in here again, no, but, yep, there it is. Now I have to close it. And I think the word caterpillar is going to be a vocabulary word. And close it, save, and refresh. Let's look at this. So we've got a few vocabulary words highlighted. Uh, but this is a lot of typing, all of that, and it's an inline style. What we want to do is find a way to use a tag that we can change the style of. Like, what if I decided to make it blue? Save and refresh. All right, I made it blue, but I'd have to go through and make all of these blue. So I want to teach you the span tag. Let's type span, and it changed that because I have that one wonderful span. What is it? I just want to remind you, the extension I have is called auto rename. And that means when I change the start tag, it automatically changes the end tag. I'm going to change this one to be a span tag as well. Look, why didn't it change this one? What up? And let's see, that's the word caterpillar. Is it going to be in here again? I don't see it. Chrysalis, how about that? Span. Span. All right, I'll put one here, and then I'm going to call it good for now. I'm sure there are other vocabulary words, but this is a quick video I just want you to see. All right, so I have all these span tags. Now how does it look? Oh, dang, nothing. Right? It's just like the div tag. It doesn't have anything until you give it something. So let's go back to the styles and create a style for span. Span will be my selector, and I'm going to say font style italic. And why don't we also say color red? Oh no, let's do that color that we've been using. All right, save and refresh. There we go. So now I've made one, two, three, four, five vocabulary terms. And all I had to put in was the span tag. So there you go. That's the span tag.